Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Inside the Den. Today we're going to take a look at Planet Side 2 and this is a free to play open world first person shooter game. So let's get started. As you can see I do have a couple of characters already created. I've got Limpy on the Connery server and Jelena Jensen on the Woodman server. Now a couple things you're going to see here right away is if you want to create a new character you're going to have three different options to choose from as far as which different uh, which different class or kind of faction sorry that you're going to play and you can see here basically Jelena Jensen is in the uh, this population here and is in the 40% so she actually gets a 0% experience and resources bonus now if I go and I create a character in a different faction on that server you'll see I'll get because of the population level you get additional bonuses so that's to try and keep the population of all the different factions somewhere as equal as possible. And this is so I could play with the guys in the EU and this is so I could play with the guys in the EU West. But let's go through the character creation process so you guys can see what's going on there. So actually real quick, let's go back. I have I have one of each of these. So we're gonna go with this one right here, which is the new conglomerate. So in each of these have their own little backstory in the Banyu Sovereignty and then the Terran Republic. But like I said, we're going to go with the new conglomerate. You can read all that interesting stuff when you guys get into the game. But you can see here that the game does have a decent population, especially on this EU server. A lot of the EU servers are medium. Then we get into some of the, the US servers and they get a little bit lower and lower and stuff like that. But still a good, decent number of people playing the game. Now we're going to actually go onto this Saris server create somebody on a completely different server and we actually you know what we're going to go this EU West server because that's still medium so we might as well do that and that'll still make sure that I don't get any lag. So now you can choose from male or female pretty simple stuff and then from there you've got a lot of not a lot but several different head types to choose from so we're going to go with uh, we'll go with this guy right here. actually we'll go with nah we'll go with the male this time we'll go with him and since we already have Limpy and my other two names that I usually use, Chosen, we'll go ahead and do that right there. Now one thing that I'm going to tell you is you notice you didn't have a lot of customization there, or you didn't see a lot of customization there. One thing I have to say that this game does subpar to a lot of other first person shooters that are in the market is make it to where it's clearly defined when you're on the battlefield exactly who's on whose side. I mean there's so many times I can't tell you. I've come around a corner and I've started firing away and it was one of my own guys. It's not that they're not defined, it's just, you know, in these games when quick twitch action is all, ab all about getting the, the, the shot off early and getting, you know, getting a, a, a killing blow or whatever really, really fast, having your enemies and your friends clearly defined is a big pet peeve of mine. And this game doesn't do it as well as I think they could do it. So hopefully that's something over the course of time you'll see or we will see change and I think will help to elevate the game to a, a little bit better level. I think that's one thing that the game can do better. That, and there have been a lot of complaints and I've seen it myself, when you sit there and, and your spawn point is literally inside of a building and you can't even walk outside of that building without just getting smoked. So it, it's very, very difficult sometimes to get into some of those little, those little, uh, or get past, should I say, some of those little issues. So we're getting our little cutscene here. Let's see if we can skip past it. I want to skip past this cutscene. I think it's actually loading up pretty slow here. Yeah, it is. So unfortunately, normally this would have no lag, and Fraps has been killing me lately with lag. So we're dropping in right now. Let's hope we don't have too much lag. We may have to actually go in and turn down some of the settings. Let's see if we could do that right here. So we're dropping into the drop. We're dropping into the drop zone of my team or my faction. And let's go ahead and see what we've got here. So you can see the graphics actually look pretty good. And I'm gonna be honest with you, I think I actually have this turned down pretty low, but <laughs> there you go. Dropped right in and I'm already dead. So let's go here onto the settings. Let's go to graphics and see what we've got set. Yeah, we have everything very, very low. All right, guys, so we're back in here. We got, to, we, it looks like we got everything fixed up as far as that's concerned. You might hear a couple of guys actually chatting away right now. We're in our main hub or our main base. Let's go ahead and take a look at our map. You can see here we are. Now the map is actually very large. You can see my faction actually controls a large portion of the map and as you take over and you can see these are where the basically the big battles are going on and I can actually deploy right in the middle of this big fight that's that's in an attempt to take over this big area see the red team actually owns this 
Now we can actually instant action right to my squad leader, to the Manny Bio Lab, to different places. So it's really kind of cool when you go into the map. You can jump around to all different places and you can do it with just, you know, basically the click of the mouse, which is really kind of cool to be able to move around that fast. Now we get into our class and we've got all these different classes. And right, so as you take and you use different you classes, go. you're going to earn experience and certifications and all that stuff. We could go, we're going to go ahead and I, I kind of like the infiltrator, but I don't, I don't know if I can go out with him right, right now. So, so then you also have have a lot of different vehicles that you're going to be able to use you've got the flash this sunderer and you can see here you can go through all these different vehicles and they're all ranging from air vehicles you've got ground vehicles which are quick atvs and stuff like that which is really pretty cool then you've got the social aspect where you can get into platoons different outfits have your friends you can do voice chat right in the game so you don't actually have to take and use a different um use a different service or anything like that. You got all your notifications, then you got video. You have no rec recorded videos. That's because I'm using something else, but you can do directly onto Twitch. So then you get your certifications and you get in here to your certifications and we'll take a look at that. And as you use a different, different, um, characters you can see that's going to go up and you're going to get all these different certifications and then those are going to get you closer and closer to being able to unlock this like these additional things right here so the more these of these different experience or the um i don't remember what are they exactly they called the certification points as you earn certification points that's going to allow you to unlock so it's really kind of cool that you can unlock with certification points or with sony cash which i actually have 750 of. i don't know how because i haven't given them any money so really kind of weird. So now I can go back to the depot and you can see here there's all kinds of different stuff, infantry weapons. This is your cash shop. But let's go back to the game and let's let's take and we can quickly uh, just drop near our squad leader by just hitting insert. So we're going to jump right to our squad leader and get right in the action. That's one of the things that I do like about the game. If you want in the action, you can get in the action really, really quick. Now let's see where all these guys are going. They're all headed there. I'm going to go up here with this guy. You've got these little... These little jump spots where you can take and jump up, get up into a, a high ground area. Now we look on our map and we can see there's no bad guys out there. At least not in the uh, in the nearby. But you can see way off in the distance there, we do have that liberator right there. Which is, which is taken off. So you can see right there, he's taken off now. Later on we will actually get access to some uh some different rpgs and things of that nature we, now we can actually fire on these guys on this on this uh so you can see right there he's firing off a uh, a nice little rocket launcher we're gonna get behind we'll get behind him and watch him well not like right behind him because we don't want to we don't want to actually take the take the brunt force of his of his shot but let's see come on come on fairy muffins let's see if we can get a shot in on some of these guys Now you have the typical movement, W, A, S, and D will move you around, you use spacebar to jump or to actually use your rocket pack, so you can see I can use a rocket pack and actually keep myself afloat for a little bit, which is kind of cool, so I could take and actually jump and then use my rocket pack, float over to this little area right here, keep myself in cover, I can crouch down, pop up, all that good jazz, so it looks like we're getting oh, pretty close good. to taking this, so let me get down there and help that's out my really teammates actually. a little bit. So let's uh we're gonna cruise and you hold down shift to do a sprint. So we're gonna we're gonna make a little run for this this spot over here. So it looks like he looks like these guys are talking. It looks like all the enemies are dead right now. So either that or I think they're all up in the sky using uh using other weaponry. I'm not gonna go there yet until every So as you can see, I got wasted because I there's some enemies right there. <laughs> But you see what I was talking about right there? How at There's first, like, I looked at the guy and I'm like, is he is he on my team or is he not on my team? And I wasn't exactly sure. That's the part that I was telling you about. Now, I can change around exactly where I want to deploy as well. So you see here, there's a lot of different places that I can actually deploy. And I can see exactly what's going on in those areas as well. So I can drop into this Haven Outpost, which is where I just was. Or I can go to some other areas. This Manny Fortress looks like it's got some action going on. But you know what? I'm going to go to the Haven Outpost, make sure I'm a little bit away so I can get my bearings before I get right into the action. 
So for some of you guys who like kind of the more uh, smaller maps where you just get into the action right away, this game is not really going to have that type of action for you. It's going to be a little bit more delayed. You're going to have, you know, because it is an open world. And I actually want to head over this way because I want to be over there. And I ended up, maybe I ended up actually spawning at the wrong spot. So it's going to take me a little while to run over here. Now normally I could take and possibly get into a vehicle or summon my own vehicle, but I'm not going to do that right now. I'm just going to do a little jump here, use my uh, use my rocket pack to keep me keep me afloat. Maybe not. So I tried. I made I made a gallant gallant effort. Let's get up this hill here. Come on, the snow. It's all the snow's fault. The snow made me slide down. But this is not one of those games where you're going to jump in and it's going to be all this tight. Uh, now we got air Tight quarters action where you, you see in a lot of shooters where you've got a lot of stuff going on in, in these small maps. No, this is widespread maps. I mean, you can see how big the map is and the space that I'm running on. If we bring up the map, the space that I'm running on, I'm essentially right here and I'm headed over to here. So I'm actually going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to jump ship. And I'm just going to deploy there and jump right into the action in the Mano Bio Lab. Well, we're probably, we've probably just taken this Bio Lab right before I got slayed there. But we'll jump in, and it's kind of cool because you can redeploy in different places if you go on the map. This is what I was doing before that was lagging a little bit. So at least this time it's not lagging, and I'm dropping right in. So essentially, you want to you want to deploy there. It's it's essentially like a uh, ship comes, picks you up, redeploys you to another spot. And here we go. We're right in the middle of the action, and I'm getting shot at already, and I'm already dead. I have no clue where I got shot at from. So this is one of the things that gets a little bit disturbing. Like, I guess that guy was an enemy on the top there. All right, let's get in there and do something about it. So I think I would like for those to be a little bit better defined. Well, maybe maybe it's one of those things where it just takes a little bit of time. You guys, you guys can tell me. And, you know, I don't mind. I don't mind sucking it up. This is more for me just to show you guys what's up. I don't mind sucking it up in these games because, you know, this isn't what it's about. I don't play these games very often. But when I do... I have a lot of fun, especially when I get in there and I play with you guys and we're running around as a little squad. So let's see, where's some where's some fun? Let's check out the map. We got some we got some guys down below us, but not bad guys. There we go. Let's let's head over here with these guys over here. So let's get caught up. Oh boy, little kamikaze style right there. Spawn beacon up. All right, so we're gonna get behind some cover. Head over here. We've got an entire squadron over here, working our way. And you do have, so you do have different points you want to capture. And as you capture those points, then you'll be able to maintain uh, holding those bases and things of that nature. You can see right there, we've got a bunch of, a bunch of different stuff on our, uh, on kind of my my three o'clock there. So we're gonna kind of cruise over this way. That guy got wasted. Can I think I can resurrect him? Nope, I can't. I don't have that. I don't have that ability. So that guy, he's firing off his, uh, he's firing off his, uh, his, his rocket launcher and let him go first. You can get items, of course, that will make your character better. As you saw, I can unlock items that will take and actually give me better armor, give me better things, of, things like that. Oh, I got killed. I didn't do any damage. All right, there's about six guys on A right now. All right, so see, he's talking about A. There's A, B, C, so we want to take and actually capture those different points, and then we'll be able to take down uh, the, um, uh, or be able to, should I say, capture that building. And then once we capture multiple buildings inside of this zone, then we will actually be able to, uh, at that point in time, we will then be able to uh, take control of the zone. And as the faction, like you saw on the map, controls more of the zone, then you're going to be able to, uh, oh, we got, we got ships above, or, uh, we got enemy above us over here somewhere. Oh, I'm getting missiled on. It's always fun when you get taken out from above <laughs> by a giant freaking plane. But that is one of the things that's kind of nice is you can get into different vehicles, you can get into different uh, uh, areas. There's also going to be uh, different structures on the different buildings that you can actually take control of. We can go up here to this, uh, This it's a um, like a little, little equipment depot. We can go here and we can buy different equipment. So you see right here, I don't have a tertiary weapon 
on this. I can resupply or let's go back in there and we can do infiltrator and change my loadout. You could change loadouts to, you know, one, two, three. You could set different loadouts and stuff like that. We can equip now. So there we go. So now we actually have our sniper and let's go see if we can get into some trouble with our sniper. Always a little more fun when we're sniping. You know how much I love sniping. So there we go. There he goes. Gunship in the air. <laughs> and again, barely got outside and got wasted by this guy. This uh, this plane probably didn't help that I was sitting right on top of a building, just standing there <laughs> instead of moving around. So the game definitely takes a little bit of getting used to, especially if you're you if you're uh, if uh, you kind of have more of a uh, should I say more of a um, Oh, we lost that point. Oh boy. So we gotta go all the way back there. That's all right. Especially if you're used to the smaller maps and quicker, you know, quicker action, because sometimes there's nothing going on and then another second, there'll be somebody right on your ass and you better be ready to, to fight right away. So I switched over to the infiltrator, so I got my, my sniper rifle and then I've got my little pistola. So let's head off and we're actually, I think, heading in the wrong direction. There we go. Or at least I'm heading in the wrong direction. So here we go. We've got some guys over here. There you go. Loving me some sniper action. Those are my guys. You guys that are there on the ground in the sky, are we the only ones trying to take fryer amp or do we have friendlies? So at least I didn't go without without any kills for you guys. You know, cuz then it's then it's a complete failure. At least you guys got to see one kill. It's always exciting when you get that one kill. That first kill of the day is always the one that really gets your blood pumping. Where am I getting shot at from? Uh, we can push down towards the, uh, the All right. All right, so we're gonna meet back at our warp gate then. Do that. Uh, you guys, if you don't see any other friendlies, then fry our ammo. Let's pull back. They're outmatched. Finish them off. So we got guys in here. I'm gonna I'm gonna lay down a little bit of cover. Not necessary. It looks like we've already taken this spot. So let's get inside. There we go. So facility defended. So we were able to actually defend our facility. We all get points for that as well. As you saw when I did get that kill, I got points for that. Oh boy, those guys uh, those guys took a little bit of heat. Does anyone have a galaxy nearby the warp gate? So tactically, I mean, the game definitely has some major, major tactics to it. So you want to take and keep that in mind if you're more into the tactical squad-based shooter or if you're more into the um, the more simplistic, uh, just let's run and gun type of shooter. Now, I don't have a jump pack with this character or this, uh, this class, so I need to be a little more careful exactly what I'm doing here. I have no clue where all my buddies... Oh, they're over here. So let's get over this way. I can see them all now. We can sprint over here. And it looks like we are going to make a run at the outpost. So we've got to be careful because there is a lot of stuff in the air that could very easily take us down. So we've got to keep ourselves moving, keep ourselves out of their sights, and uh, get ourselves as close to this this next entry point, try and take another 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 spot. What do we got up here? Uh, the weapon turret should have extra ammo. So let's get over here. Oh. Creepy old I don't know if I. I don't think I got him. I think the other. I think that other guy got him. But. uh Any more? Either way, I got. I. I. I made him move. I'm gonna I'm gonna take credit for making him move right into the bullet of the uh, of of my uh, my partner in crime here. So we're gonna head down this way. I'm gonna follow with him. He's he's see he's jumping up there to see if there's anybody over that ridge. I'm with you, buddy. Let's go get some. But you do have a lot of space like this where you're out in the open, so you kind of got to be a little bit careful, especially with uh, with all these gunships up in the air. It really gets a little crazy because you're out in the open a lot. Let's see what we got here. Oh, too far away. 
Might as well reload since we're gonna be running for a little bit. But like I was saying, you do you do spend you do spend a significant amount of time actually moving to these different points, especially when you're looking to capture new points. Now that's not always the case. There's a lot of times that you'll end up in close combat fire, and you won't you won't be. Um, What's the approach plan? Are we coming in? You won't be uh, you won't even have a chance to uh, move. So it's kind of this feast or famine type of thing. Sometimes you're gonna be you're gonna have a lot of space to to uh, or a lot of room to to or ground to cover, should I say? And then other times you're just basically going to be. Uh, this guy just ran right underneath that uh, that turret there, so that turret's not doing much. So we're just gonna head in here and try and uh, try and capture this spot. These guys should have it captured here pretty soon. So let's get up in here. I don't think we're going to have much resistance, but we'll go up this way and see what we got. Toast. Of course I missed, and then his turret, little turret, because there are guys, there are characters that you can take and you can lay turrets down. Oh, and of course, because I was all the way up there. Let's at least let's at least deploy in the uh, in the Haven outpost far far closer to our uh, to the point we were just in. But you can see it can be a little bit frustrating because when you do set yourself back that far or you do make a mistake like I just made, you end up having to run really really far to get back into the uh, into the fray. I could have swore I was going that way, but I don't see many people over there. So what do we got? We got anybody anybody in the uh, in the vicinity cruising over our direction? Delta's on standby. Let's see what we got. You gotta love having the uh, the nice scope that gives you the extra the extra distance to see. All right, I think everybody's gonna head this way and cross over that bridge, make another run for it. We've captured the A point, our Haven outpost, or we actually defended it. Yeah, it looks like we got a decent number of guys over there. Let's see. I thought I saw... Nope. I thought I saw an enemy, but it was probably just that turret. Oh, there it is. But I don't think... Do we need a whole galaxy, though? Because I don't think we had enough people in that one to fill one up. Let's see if I try and get one of those guys that's on the, uh, on the top there. Oh, that's not a guy sitting up on the top. All right, let's go catch up with these guys up here. Make one more run on this. Give you guys a, 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 you guys get a pretty good understanding of exactly how this all works. Basically, very, very tactic, very tactical. Essentially, the key there is that oh, this guy's coming back this way. So what did I miss? There's nobody over here. Maybe because they're deploying a whole team in that uh, in that truck. It's cool that you have, you know, all very different kinds of weapons, and you can change your loadouts. the The vehicles are really cool. I'd have to say the detractions for me are the fact that on occasions you'll find yourself in a situation where you're just getting, you're just uh, basically getting spawn killed because as soon as you log in, you're basically getting wrecked right away, and uh, and you're not having much of a chance to to get into the action, or even you're pretty much locked into whatever building you're spawning in until they take that building and just push you back now of course you do have the opportunity to take and push back from that building and uh they need to uh they need to take that up i'm repairing my galaxy and i'm gonna dust off I need my I need my rocket launcher right now is what I need. My other character. Let's get in and over here, see what we got going on. Need some smart bombs and all that stuff as well. Where'd that guy go? Oh my. Woo! Flying overhead.
the southwest platform? No, on the ground. Look out, just right at the edge of the uh, I made a successful <laughs> drop, but they took me out when I tried to get out of there. That always happens. It's alright. Early six and seven, you're on the wrong side. Head to the other side. Am I missing? Am I too far away? Cardinal directions are so far off right now. There we go. Well, we'll finish there. <laughs> At least I got another kill for you guys. So. We got some other guys in here. Well, either way, you guys get a good gist of what's going on in the game. Like I said, the pluses are if you like squad-based combat and the open world, definitely, definitely something to check out. The minuses, I would have to say, are sometimes on occasions you can find yourself in situations where the uh, the game does put you in a situation where it's, it seems a little bit like it's inevitable that you're going to die just over and over and over and over again, like I just did right there. But... Either way, it's a pretty decent game, especially if you like shooters and open world. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's trip inside the den. Don't forget to subscribe. Keep yourself updated as each new episode is released. Also, don't forget to like and comment on these videos as we really do appreciate that feedback. If you'd like to play or learn more about Planet Side 2, you can check out our full review at mmoden.com or just click the link in the description. Till next time, thanks for watching.